Mental Flaws. In 1954, computer scientist and brilliant mathematician Alan Turing died after biting into an apple laced with cyanide, a real-life version of Snow White and the Poison Apple. It's long been assumed that it was a suicide, perhaps because he was frustrated and overwhelmed by chemical castration the British government forced upon him after he admitted to having a sexual relationship with a man, which was against the law at the time. Recently, some have speculated that Turing's death by Apple wasn't necessarily intentional. He was known to be careless with his experiments and incidentally inhaling cyanide or accidentally placing an apple in a cyanidic bottle would have been outside of the realm of possibilities. Still another theory is that British security services considered turning a high security risk because he was gay. It may have sabotaged him rather than risk that Turing would spill government secrets or defect and work for the enemy. What happened, the fact remains that half-eaten apple was found by Turing's bedside. Fast forward about two decades to a few guys making personal computers in a garage. Yeah, right, they did that. They had a name for their product and were now in, in need of a logo. The men were aware of Turing's contribution to computers and coding and decided to honor him and comment on his persecution by removing a single byte from the Apple graphic they had picked to represent their company. And that's how we got the iconic Apple logo on the back of all of our phones, computers and iPods. So the story goes anyway, but as nice as it is, it simply isn't true according to the designer who created the logo. There's a very practical reason for those two. The Apple II was the first home of personal computer that could rep reproduce images and so on. So, I would never believe that this Steve Jobs and also the Bill Gates are the ones who created those computers, the Macintosh and the Windows based. So, all this is a lie. But I also think that as they change the colors all the time, and mostly the background too, I think it has something to do with uh, celestial objects, obviously, that somehow they obsess about. And I think that I think that it has something to do with uh, sun or moon eclipse. So, you will see that when uh, on the 25th this month uh, there will be eclipse, but uh, such as that uh, the disk won't be covered fully, so it would appear that in some regions it would appear like uh, somebody took a bite. Anyways, so you see how it goes. And in this regard I wanted to say a very personal story that is very weird as well and it is connected to my innermost insecurities so my uh, so we will be observing this eclipse on the 25th of October and I was reading through it and I thought that how surprising and this kind of event will decide uh, the next 18 years of humanity so the astronomers says or astrologists which way you put it and 
My son was also conceived on the 25th of October, and that's when, that's when his father was also poisoned. And what I want to say about this is that later on I found out that uh, his uh, so-called ex-wife also had a child and at the same time with me. And uh, when I was given birth, I also found out that uh, that creature Kate Middleton also was given birth to that firstborn uh, Prince, Prince George. I suppose we are surrogate. But I think that at the time that 20, 25th of October was an important celestial date or something and it was a date where they also got the cream family killed and this was a family in New York uh, where a nanny out of the blue stabbed two children to death whom um, their father called Buddha so when I was pregnant, uh, before I got pregnant, in the beginning of October, I saw a dream that a young elephant was, uh, that I was walking on the beach and a young elephant was running through me. So I looked up the dream and I thought, what does it mean? And I found out that before Buddha was born, uh, they, the mother saw in a dream that she was pregnant with an elephant. Later, I saw a different dream that I was pregnant with a different animal. Uh, the one that lives in Tibet. So anyways, I wanted to say that finding out that my man was having a child with another woman at the same time with my child made me feel really broken. It just, it almost destroyed me to know that in some parallel timeline he was doing all this and he done all this with me and it took years but he confessed to me that his wife was infertile and that he didn't touch her for many years and that she used the sperm that was in a marriage that he had that he had in a marriage which was originally taken from him to create his oldest daughter so he had a daughter in that marriage and he said that the sperm was taken when he was still in the marriage with her and uh, as she explained to him his ex-wife explained to him that she wanted to have the kids that would be from the same father. So she wanted to have siblings that would be from the same father. That's how she explained her reasoning while having those, this second child. And as the father told me, she didn't ask his opinion about it, whether he wants to have a child or not. So anyways, I could not believe it. I, it didn't really settle well in my head that this has had to happen at the same time simultaneously with me. Like at the same exact ovulation with me. And it took me a while to realize that she was some kind of an agent that they're covering for now and that this whole thing was a sham because 
those blue bloods exactly because of their interbreeding the first side effect to it is being infertile both men and women tend to be infertile so the picture was getting clear to me but i i went to psychic and this was one of the questions that i asked her because in my intuition i felt there was something wrong so i was wondering and i still don't know why did it have to happen at the same time with me so as to the the father would call the ch the children the twins and what happened there was that they look like twins they look like twins and these things that i of course i cannot prove but i think that there was some important celestial event that they observ observed at that time and they do it the important rituals and so on and so forth all around these celestial events so what happens in the in the north sphere so to say in the in the air so i cannot prove it but i think that they did some kind of a black magic on my my child's father so that he would become like a zombie and would speak automatically like a robot and turn in on me and say all, all kinds of things to me that were hurtful and i think that she initially tried to give him some kind of a psychedelics to make him suggestible and then when it didn't work she sent him to that uh, New York Times columnist Amy Tan so she could hypnotize him into believing all that he, that has happened has something to do with the Lyme disease so anyway I'm walking into that psychic and I'm asking her that I'm telling that he, he had another kid at the same time with mine and I'm asking her is this his kid and before I even asked this question I just had it in my head but I didn't pronounce it with my lips it was my tongue i just said that he had the child at the same time with me with my kid and she told me that it was not his kid so for some reason i started to argue with her i started to argue with her that i said that this is impossible blah 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 like they they look alike and according to what they said and she was say, she was insisting that the daughter was his the oldest daughter he was his that it's his daughter and he said that and she said and he has my kid and that the other boy is not his and this really and i started to argue with her and i said you know he told me that he didn't have he didn't touch her for years but she they had this in vitro fertilization uh, procedure and she used what was left over uh, with a uh, from when they were in the marriage she used those materials and i must say that, that this this notion that somebody has your the man you love sperm somewhere tucked in somewhere is also traumatizing and i started to explain it to her and like i was justifying her and i like i was her advocate for this 
And she kept the psychic, the shaman kept insisting that it wasn't his kid. And then she was uh, beating the drum again, and she, she said, she says he has three kids. Okay, she he has three kids. And I don't, I don't know what she heard back then, but this so deeply traumatized me that she said that the other baby boy was not his kid. And how she pronounced, and how she said it several times, and that how I. For some reason, I started to protest to that because in my head it's so traumatizing. It's just this is one of the things that make you go insane. Like really, you you can thinking about all of this, you can lose your mind and go fucking insane. And when thinking about it, I start to cry because I cannot imagine that somebody would go such a distance as to fake all of this. So I have to think how this all has happened if indeed the psychic is right as she was about 90% of things and this was not his kid and how 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 is it possible how is it possible that two children look so much alike like did they use like he the father of my child had two brothers. I was thinking, could they use the brother's sperm? Could they use a cousin's sperm? Or could they use his father's sperm? Because when you are in the military, you have to go through all kinds of tests and vaccines and whatnot. They just keep experimenting on the soldiers as well. Maybe uh, under some pretext they took his father's sperm as well on the research and they have been keeping it in the freezing freezer for a long time. Of those were his brother's sperm and that's how the other baby had looked so much alike. My kid. And so anyways... Most of the days I wake up and I wish a very painful death to that woman because she finished him and because she stolen everything from me and my son. Like we have nothing, nothing. All I have is his photo, that's it. And how all the time that she played him, it's so ruthless and I... I cannot even comprehend that somebody can do this thing, like, for example, that his brother would go the distance of doing this. And I try to be humble about all of this, but this whole thing just makes me go crazy. And it's so disturbing. It's so disturbing when you are a simple person, you live a simple life, you don't touch anybody, you like you don't care about anybody. You try to stay away from all the people, all the people. And how you can how you when can think that it's all about a cult and some kind of a predictions and why they would do this and um because for me I'm I'm very common person, like simple common person, a dime a dozen. I would never conceive it in my head that some secret service like MI6 would care whom I fuck, where I fuck, whom I have baby with. Because when you look at the press, their generals like this Clark individual, etc., they fuck all kinds of things. They 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 go to Ukraine, they fuck the Chinese, and no problems there. Why why would they care? Why would they care to steal my eggs and do all this with me? And I also had that dream that somebody 
when my son was born i was having a dream that i had a daughter also with with my man and and i had a dream that this woman was stealing her from me like she kidnapped her and just when she was born and that was it like i looked away for a second and she was gone from her cradle and i never saw her again and i had also terrible nightmares that my kid went my son went missing and i would run up in the streets and i would scream for his i would scream his name but he was nowhere to be seen and i think that was the period when he was the closest to his death and anyways bottom line is that i think all these creatures they are infertile and in and inbred and that's interconnected and when we when we dig up on this whole occult thing and how they say their main reader is called Pindar and that's somebody British and how there was some kind of a comedian named Peter Pindar and uh, in history and like now it's some kind of a Rothschild or somebody like that and uh, they talk about how they uh deprived uh, princess diana with from her virginity with some kind of a phallic uh dildo that was gold pure gold and uh, and how this arizona wilder said that that William Guy was not really was not really Charles' son, and that it was this occult high priest man Pindar's na- son, and how and how this Arizona Wilder, when she was programmed into be dissociative personality, in order to partake in some. Uh, rituals as a high priestess and to have work as a psychic uh, who would be damaging people by their photos from the distance and how she described that when her handler died this green guy who was also um, that Nazi uh, doctor guy doctor in quotes um, who was experimenting on uh, mind control and that she had some some time missing she had spaces where she had missing time and that during that time that was missing she saw that she was at the mall or somewhere else but she really couldn't account for some for lots of times and this this were times when she found out that she was pregnant for several months and that during her pregnancy he, she was bleeding so she had re- regular periods so she said that they they kidnapped her they put her in trance somewhere and they kidnapped her and that they took out her egg and then they uh, and then they erased her memory so she was left in the street where she was kidnapped the, the same place only that there was time missing and how they impregnated she said that her 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 eggs with the Rothschild and that they again they put her in trance and they fertilized the uh, put the fertilized egg ble- back in place and how she and how she when she found out she was pregnant because she was a nurse how she did the abortion so 
this makes you think that probably those who are who are this on the highest of hierarchy they they don't have a dick probably like they are castrators or they are born without a dick or something like that or they are so infertile that they have to have this aid and go through much of the process of this in vitro stuff and because I wonder why they had to extract her egg and then to fertilize it with this Rothschild sperm and then put it back so they had to kidnap her twice for it why not just for example kidnap her and he would rape her with his dick doesn't matter if he's old like take Viagra and rape her with your own dick why they it means that they don't have a dick or something like that anyways I cannot prove but I think I'm convinced that they did lots of rituals on me and my son to stop me to freeze me to make me poor uh, to to stun me to make me aroused to um, I think it's for my son I think they did a ritual something like exchanging the fates like a person is born with a certain program certain destiny certain mission and they have a certain fate and I think they did some kind of a ritual that my son and somebody else was have exchanged their fates or something like that maybe that was the purpose of that other kid or I really don't know but studying black magic I think that his ex-wife did, did some kind of a love spell on him because this was likely the graveyard wedding ceremony I cannot prove this it's just my intuition but when I start to think of it that they somehow went this out of their way to do all this to me for no reason at all for no reason I pose no threat to them and to do this all to my child to make it so that he would never recover it's just it's just like to the point that the the pills stop working like the pills work one day the other day they don't and it's it's amazing what they do